So welcome to my channel and today we will discuss about the topic of introduction to communication system. So let, first things first, let's just define communication system. So it is the sending, processing, and receiving information by electrical or electronic means. It is also the basic process of exchanging information by electronic means. So basically, yung sinasabi lang dito na kapag nag-send, nag-process ka at nag-receive ka ng information na yun by electric, electronics means at nakipag-exchange ka ng information from one point to another, yun na ngayon ay tinatawag nating communication system. So an example of a communication system is a cell, is the cellular networks. So our phones can send information, process information in order for the other users to receive the information we send. So isa pang example dyan is yung satellite communication. So for example, yung isang TV station ay nagtatransmit sila ng mga programs nila through the satellite and by the use of satellite, ito yung nagsisilbing medium para ma-receive natin yung mga signals na transmit nung, nung TV channel. And by the use of our televisions, marireceive na natin ngayon yung mga tinatransmit ng te television networks. So, let's now discuss the basic communication system. So, we have the transmitter, the transmission medium, and the receiver. So, let's take a look at the information. So, our information, let's say, for example, ito yung ating human voice. And, pinapasok natin yung human voice na yun using transmitter. Yung transmitter, transmitter pinaprocess niya yung boses natin para ma transmit yung boses natin papunta sa receiver. Along the way, meron tayong pathway na tinatawag na transmission medium. Ito yung nagsisilbing daanan para makarating yung, mga, yung message natin from one point to another. And along the way, laging present yung noise na parang nagiging sagabal sa transmitted signal natin. And at the receiver, ang purpose nito ay i-capture niya lahat ng transmitted signals na nanggagaling dito sa ating medium at ma-replicate ma niya kung ano man yung information na tinransmit natin sa transmitter. So, yung information na ni-replicate niya ay tinatawag rin nating recovered information. Now, let's talk about transmitter. So, yan yung image na yan. Uh, ito ay isang radio transceiver that is capable of transmitting and receiving signal. So, let's focus first on its transmitting power. So, transmitter converts regional information to a form suitable signal for transmission. So, ano nga ba tong suitable signal for transmission? Bakit nga ba natin kailangan i-convert pa yung regional information papuntang suitable signal for transmission. Mamaya mas madidiscuss pa natin yan, but transmitter also contains electronic devices and circuits that perform encoding and modulation. So yung transmitter daw natin ay maraming components na nakalagay sa loob niyan. So dahil nga transceiver rin to, meron siyang mga components para sa transmitter at may mga components rin siya para sa receiver. So let's let's define what is encoding. So encoding is the process of converting original information to information signal or also called as modulating signal. So yung original information na ito is for example yung boses natin. And pagka pronounce natin yung mga sasabihin natin papuntang transmitter yung transmitter ay mag undergo ng process na encoding at yung mga sinasabi natin ay kinoconvert papuntang signal na tinatawag nating information signal. 
So, meron din tayong tinatawag na modulation signal. Modulation rather. It is the process of mixing the information signal to carrier signal. So, dito dalawang signal na yun na involved sa definition. We have the information signal na ito yung na-convert natin dito sa process of encoding. And another signal, signal or what we call as the carrier signal. So basically, carrier signal is a high frequency signal that that uh, carries information signal. So mamaya malalaman rin natin kung bakit nga ba natin kailang mag-modulation. So let's take a look at this image. We have the modulating signal, the carrier signal, and the modulated signal. So modulating signal this is the converted information signal. So, ito yung tinutukoy natin dito sa encoding. We have the carrier signal. It is produced by oscillator in the transmitter. So, oscillator is a component in the transmitter. At dahil sa oscillator, nakapag-produce tayo ng carrier signal. So, para sa inyong carrier signal, ito yung nagiging way para maisakay natin yung modulating signal sa ating transmission. Minimix yan sa carrier signal by the process nga ng modulation. So, bakit nga ba natin kailangan pa mag-modulate? Bakit ba kailangan natin ipag-mix yung dalawang signal? Mamaya, mas malalaman pa natin. But we have a modulated signal. It is produced by modulator. Ito na ngayon yung uh, nag-undergo ng process ng modulation. Ito na yung nag-mix na yung modulating signal at yung carrier signal. Why do we need to modulate signals? Of course, we need to modulate signals because it allows us to transmit low frequency signals. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? So, uh, sa mga hindi nakakalam, ang human voice ay may range na 300 Hz to 3 kHz. So, let's take a look at this so, ito ay tinatawag na frequency spectrum. Ito, makikita natin yung mga iba't ibang bands ng ating frequencies. So, ang human voice daw ay nasa 300 Hz to 3 kHz. So, nasaan benda yun? Nandito yan sa VLF or very low frequency. So, di ba kapag ka nagsasalita tayo, pag sumigaw tayo, hindi yun nakakarating ng malayo. So, we need devices para mapareceive pa yung mga sinasabi natin papuntang sa kabilang point. It can be kunyari, pwede rin tayo gumamit ng cellphone, pwede tayong gumamit ng internet at iba pa. Pero yung mga devices na yon ay ginamitan natin ng uh, communication system. So, dahil doon na i-transmit natin yung ating low frequency signal which is our human voice papuntang high frequency signal para makareceive ng user, ng ibang user, yung mga sinasabi natin. So, another example on why do we need to modulate signal because of this. So, this is an antenna tower. Antenna for AM stations. Ito yung mga, di ba, meron tayong AM stations and FM stations. So, ganito kalaki yung antenna ng mga AM stations. So, AM stations ay nasa ay gumagamit at nag-ooperate around 500 kHz. So, nasa pagitan siya ng low frequency to middle frequency, medium frequency. So, ang principle ng ating mga antenna is the lower the frequency, the higher, the bigger antenna we need. So, makikita natin na Ganito na kataas yung need nating antena para sa medium lower frequency to medium frequency application. What if pa kaya kung gagamitan natin yung antena ng antena yung pagtransmit lang natin ng human voice. And therefore, because of this, we need an alternative solution. We need to create a carrier signal kung saan tinatransport niya yung ating human voice na isang lower frequency signal papunta sa higher frequency 
signal para makareceive tayo. So, yung sa part kasi ng spectrum na ito, BHF, meron na tayong mga ano dyan, meron na tayong mga devices, may mga radio equipment na tayo para ma-decode natin yung mga human voice na ito, yung mga lower frequency na ito. So, that's the purpose of our modulation. That is why we need to modulate signals. Next, we have the transmission medium and also the noise. Let's talk about first the transmission medium. So, transmission medium, it is the path or medium that the transmitted signal travels from transmitter to receiver. Diba kapag ka nakapag-modulate na tayo ng dalawang signals, kapag napag-mix na natin yung dalawang signals, ito na ay tinatawag nating transmitted signal. So, yung transmission medium daw yung nagsisilbing daanan ng transmitted signal natin papuntang receiver. So, meron tayong dalawang types or classification ng transmission medium. It can be a guided medium and unguided medium. So, for the guided medium, it uses conductor that provides path in which electromagnetic energy are contained. So, anong example na ito? Ang mga example na ito ay yung mga fiber optic cable, transmission lines, coaxial cable, LAN cable, etc. Ito yung mga wire. Ito yung mga mahabang kable na ginagamit natin para makapag-transmit tayo ng information na ginagamit natin sa Wi-Fi, sa radio transmission, ginagamit rin natin sa pag Data, sa mga data transfer natin sa mga computers. And also, we have what we call the unguided medium. It is a natural medium. So, paano natural medium? Ang example kasi ng unguided medium ay yung free space and earth's atmosphere. Ito yung ginagamit natin yung layers ng earth's atmosphere para makapag-transmit tayo ng information papuntang ibang stations. So, for example, yung radio transmission, so, ang wired lang doon is yung ating mga transmission lines sa coaxial cable para maikonect natin yung antenna to the transmitter. Pero, after ng antenna, yung information natin, yung transmitted signal natin ay pinapadaan na naturally sa ating environment, sa free space and our, or it can be layers, any layers of the earth. Next, we'll discuss the noise. So, noise is any unwanted signals tending to interfere with other signals. There are two categories of noise. We have the uncorrelated noise and the correlated noise. So, uncorrelated noise is the noise that is present regardless of whether there is signal present or not. While the correlated noise, ito naman yung mga noise na meron lang noise kapag ka may present na signal. So, in this case, regard sa uncorrelated noise, sabi dito regardless of whether there is signal present or not. Meaning, ito ay laging present. So, may tinatransmit ka bang kamang signal or wala. Laging present yung uncorrelated noise. So, example ng mga uncorrelated noise is yung mga uh, atmospheric noises natin. It can be also industrial noises, yung mga noise na nakikreate sa mga transmission lines natin, sa mga electrical transmission lines. While the correlated noise, ito yung mga nabubuong noise sa loob ng ating transmission. So, is For example, kapag ka nag-amplify ka ng signal, nag-create din yun ng noise. And that noise is a type of correlated noise. So, yung noise kasi is, ito yung pinaka-main goal ng ating communication system. Yung ma-minimize natin yung noise, yung hindi maka-apekto ng mabigat yung noise sa ating transmitted signal. So, yung noise kasi ay pwedeng makapag-distort or pwedeng mag-interfere sa transmitted signal natin. So, 
a, a good communication system must um, create a system that replicate, that can reconstruct the transmitted signal na halos hindi siya apektado ng anumang noise. So, eto nga yan, nakikita natin sa picture, no? We have the noise that is always present when we transmit our signal through our transmission medium or our pathway. So, pagdating dito sa point to which is our receiver, nag-iiba na yung waveform niyan. Hindi na siya yung kagaya na transmitted signal natin. Dahil marami ng factors na naka dito. So, pagdating sa receiver, ang main goal niya ay makuha pa rin niya yung information na tinatransmit natin. So, that will result for us to discuss what is the receiver. So, receiver, yun nga, an example natin kanina, yung radio transceiver. Let's focus now on its receiver part. So, receiver is the destination upon which information from the transmitter is delivered. It contains devices and circuits that receive transmitted signals from transmission medium and then replicate it eh, to replicate the original information. So, sabi dito, ito na yung pinaka-final destination natin. Take note natin na yung receiver ay maraming components yan na kasama. Hindi lang yan basta receiver na nagre-receive lang ng transmitted signal. Nag-undergo pa rin yan ng napakaraming process para lang ma-replicate niya yung original information na transmit natin. So, ito naman yung alternate ng transmitter. No? Receiver performs decoding and demodulation. From encoding and modulation sa receiver, we now perform decoding and demodulation. So, decoding is accepting the transmitted signal from transmission medium. Yun lang yun. Bali, tinatanggap lang niya yung transmitted signals natin na apektado na ng noise. And we have the modulation that extracts the information signal or the modulated signal from the carrier signal. So, ang pinakamahalaga lang naman kasi sa transmitted signal natin na may combination na carrier signal at information signal is yung mismong information signal. Ito yung pinaprocess. Ito yung kailangan ng ating mga output kagaya ng mga speaker para ma-receive natin o marinig natin yung tinatransmit nating information signal. So, from this, we have the modulated signal, yung pinagsamang carrier signal at yung modulating signal at mag a go siya ng process na demodulation. Demodulation, gagamit siya ng demodulator or detector sa loob ng receiver. Demodulator extracts the information signal. So, kinukuha niya na ngayon yung information signal na yun. At once na makuha niya na, ang tawag na doon ay demodulated signal. So, meron din tayong tinatawag na amplifier sa loob ng receiver. It increases the power of the weakened modulated signal. So, sabi ko nga dito na sa transmission medium, nagi nagiging prone to noise yung ating transmitted signal. Because of its exposure to noise, naga attenuate or humihina yung signal natin, yung transmitted signal natin. And therefore, pagdating sa receiver, sa receiver, we need to amplify our transmitted signal. And lastly, for this receiver, we have the output devices. It can be speakers, monitor, printer. So, dito kasi, an example ko lang dito is by the use of radio. So, speakers yung output device na gagamitin natin dito para marinig natin yung mga nagtatransmit na message natin. Pero, sabi ko nga, communication system, hindi lang naman yan nakapapalagay sa at sa radio transmission. It can be uh, by the use of uh, printing, mga ganyan, yung display, video, sound. That is all. Those process is what we also call as communication system. So, there you have it, our basic communication system. Again, we have the information that will go through our transmitter and our transmitter will combine the information signal and the K 
carrier signal and will undergo a process called modulation. So after modulation, we will now have a transmitted signal that will go to our transmission medium. It can be guided or unguided. It can be through a wire, through, and it can also be our simply our free space, our layers of the earth. And on in the transmission medium, noise is always present. So at the receiver, it has a goal of uh, reconstructing and receiving the transmitted signal that were exposed to the noise. So its main goal is to replicate the very same information we have transmitted to our transmitter. And that information is what we also call as recovered information. So uh, there you have it. Uh, if you have more questions, uh, just leave a comment below. And um, please like and subscribe to my channel. And we hope to see you again next time. Thank you very much.